fashion sewers and welcome to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to sew a curly hem using fishing line. This is the effect that a fishing line does to a hem and it creates this wonderful curling of the fabric. Now I'll just take it a bit closer so you can actually see what the fishing line is doing is actually making this wave effect and that is what I'm going to show you how to do. To get this effect the supplies you're going to need are fishing line and here we have one it needs to be about 50 pounds and upwards the next is some sticky tape you're going to need a tube of sorts and a pair of thread scissors. To start you need your tube, you're going to get your fishing line, place it onto the tube, get some sticky tape and just tape that into position. And then we're going to get the fishing line and then we're going to wrap it around the tube like so and we're going to make sure that it becomes one after the other so that the fishing line stays flat as you can see and you do that all the way down your tube I do a couple more so they're sitting side by side you don't want them on top you just want them sitting side by side so it should be nice and smooth and you just continue going around and around until you have the required amount. Once you have the required amount, secure it with sticky tape, run your finger over to make sure it's nice and smooth and flat. If you're using cardboard tubing like I am, place it into a microwave for 10 seconds and then allow it to cool. If not, use a solid tubing, place it into boiling water that has been removed from the heat and then take it out of the boiling water and allow it to dry. My fishing line is now dry and we've removed it from the tubing and as you can see I now have my curly shape that will be required for my hemline. This technique you're going to need lightweight or slippery fabric. The hemline needs to be cut on the bias because that's what's going to help give it its curve. The next thing to do is to get the end of your, hope you can see this, your fishing line and you're going to place it quite close to the cut edge about three millimeters away and then I'm going to zigzag. I'm using contrasting uh, thread so that you can actually see the zigzag. I'm going to place my fabric under first and then get my fishing line and place that into position. I'm going to get it to stick out just a little bit beyond the fabric itself it will be tricky and this technique does take patience. Place it like so, put my feet down and make sure that it is actually at least, see, the fishing wire has got a mind of its own so you're going to need patience. Yes, I'm happy with that now and I'm going to make sure that my machine is set to a zigzag stitch and then stitch away slowly. So what's happening here is that I'll hold the back of my threads. Is the zigzag is covering the zigzag stitch is actually covering the fishing line. So it, so it gives it a nice, neat, as possible finish. Just do it, take it in stages because you will be fighting with that because you're working with a bias cut fabric and also a fishing line that's got a mind of its own. There we have the curly hemline. Now I mentioned thread scissors. Now if I bring this close to the camera you can see there's quite a few fine hairs there so make sure you cut those away because you don't want that to spoil your project. Just means a little bit of the fabric hasn't been caught and just trim like so and wherever you find any more just remember just 
you stretch scissors and just trim. So the next time you're thinking of finding a creative way of doing a decorative hemline, give this technique a go. Don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Zone Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials and if you have any comments or queries put them in the comment box below and I will see you next time.